Okay, good afternoon, class. I'm Carmen C. Tarabano, your OLC in Practical Research 1. Good afternoon. And of course, our topic for this week is Nature of Inquiry and Research. So our learning objectives, at the end of this lesson, students should understand the following. What is research and importance of research in daily life? To describe characteristics, processes, and ethics of research, and differentiate quantitative from qualitative research. So research, and research is a combined word. Pre plus search is uh, research daw pala. Yan daw pala yon. So ang re daw ay prefix, from prefix na ano yan, ay, meaning ay again. And then yung search naman daw is to look or to find something. So the kinumbine yung word na yon, naging research, and meaning to say, ang research daw ay to look for something again or to seek for something again. So research now is an orderly process of inquiry that involves purposeful and systematic analysis and interpretation of data or units of information to gain new knowledge or to verify already existing knowledge. And then uh, in summary, research an organized method of finding novel or relatively new ideas from existing body of knowledge with the help of useful tools for the purpose of the quality of life. By using these ideas resulting from research, most of the society's major problems are resolved, needs are satisfied, and demands are met. These new ideas also pave ways in creating innovative technologies for a more comfortable and convenient life. So what is to look for research? Of course, you have to search for new ideas, improve certain process, Create for something useful out of something old, explain a series of observation, to look at something using different perspective. Okay, I will give you some example. Diba sabi nga, research daw is a process or inquiry that involves purposeful and systematic analysis and data. Siyempre, to gain new knowledge or to verify already existing knowledge. So how can we gain knowledge? Paano ba tayo mag-gain ng new knowledge dyan? Diba? That's the reason why nagreran tayong research, diba? Kasi uh, let's admit it na ang tao ay born curious talaga ang mga tao. So marami tayong gusto matutunan. Diba? Ang dami-dami. And uh, one of the best example that I can give you about this one is yung mga nangyayari ngayon sa atin. Uh, sa everyday life natin, ano ba yung ginawa? Na nakatulong sa atin. Yung mga ideas. And uh, best example is yung sa ating paglalaba na lang. Paglalaba before we just hand wash, di ba? Until now naman nag-hand wash pa rin tayo. Pero meron tayong, uh, meron nag, uh, nagpag-create niyan. May idea na, na create sila ng washing machine to help. Di ba? Yung mga nanay sa mga araw-araw na gawain natin, di ba? Yun yung mga nanay-research nila. Pwede naman pala tayo mag-create. Ano kaya magagawa natin para makatulong tayo? at mag maging maganda at mag magaan ang buhay ng mga nanay natin o na tayo na rin, di ba? So, naisip nila, sa paglalaba, pwede tayong gumawa yun na example. So, why don't we create a machine? Di ba? So, nag-research nag sila, sinerge nila yan, na pwede pala, siyempre, nag-create sila ng question, ano bang, ano bang problema? Siyempre, ang mga nanay nahihirapan sa paglalaba. So, sina ano, yun ay kagod yung question, ano ang dapat natin gawin para makatulong tayo sa kanila? So, yun na, question na rin yun. O, ano ang pwedeng gawin? Di ba? So, nag-create sila na washing machine. So, yung washing machine, ayan, as day goes by, di ba, may washing machine na tayo, napakagaan na ng buhay. Di ba? Mga research yun, galing nila, no? Kapag ano. And then, pero sa atin, meron pa rin mga nakaisip na ibang mga researchers na aside from washing machine, syempre, pagka ano, washing machine lang yan. Pagka ano, babalawan pa din, di ba? Babalawan-balawan pa rin natin paglabas. Babalawan lang. Tapos ano? Diba? Ano ang ginawa nila? Gumawit din sila. Nakapag-research sila. Why don't we put some spin dryer? Diba? May spin dryer na yung washing machine natin. Di mas advanced na. Ang galing nung nag, uh, nag-research na yun. Ah. Diba? Naging advanced na yun. Na, ano, na-improve na na yung certain process. Na-improve na. And then, at the, at this goes, as this goes by, meron ko rin naman naiisip na syempre curious nga ang mga tao. Lahat tayo, meron tayong gustong malaman sa lahat. So, 
Meron may spin dryer, pero bakit ganun? Hindi pa rin siya masyadong tuyo at kailangan pa rin natin siyang isampay. Di ba? May asampay pa rin tayo, magagawa pa rin tayo ng ano. Bakit hindi tayo gumawa kaya na pwede na natin siyang huwag nang isampay, tuyo na siya paglabas niya. Ngayon, di ba, ang mga washing machine natin ngayon, di ba, talagang dry na. Dryer na talaga yung nakaano, di ba? Dito sa mga laundry shop na mga nakita natin, puro may mga dryer na. Kukunin na lang natin and at the same time, hindi na tayo magtutupi, di ba? Mag, I, I mean, di, magtutupi na lang tayo na tayo magsasampay. So yan daw yung mga ginawa dahil sa research na yan. Simple lang yung ginawa ko example guys. Napakadami pa natin yan. Di ba yan yung mga ideas natin? Na gano'n yan. Diba sabi ba using this idea, si mga ideas nila na yon, resulting from research, most of the society's major problems are resolved. Needs, si mga needs daw natin are satisfied and demands are met. Diba? That's si mga useful tool. Diba? And then yung new ideas na rin, well, create tayo ng innovative technologies for a more comfortable and convenient life. Diba? Ngayon, komportable na. Magbasala ka na lang sa washing machine ngayon. Paglabas, tuyo na. Wala ka ng problema. Unlike noon. Diba? And then yung convenient life. O, oh, gusto nyo mag-order lang kayo ng pagkain nyo, true po, di ba? Madadaya lang tayo on ano, uh, di ba? Daya lang tayo sa hotline o oh, Jollibee ng ano, hindi. Hindi tayo pa pwede nga because of technology yan, yung innovative technologies natin, di ba? Madami pa tayong mad- pwedeng gawin example because of research yan. Marami nang na-improve sa atin o naiba, di ba? At gumaan at naging kombinyente na ang buhay ng lahat na tao. Okay, ito na sinabi ko na. Uh, search for new ideas, yeah, di ba? To improve certain process and of course, create for something useful out of something old. Yung mga bagay na luma na, oh, di ba? Na, Kakapag-create pa tayo. And then explain a series of observation and then to look at something using different perspective. Meron mga iba kasi na ini-improve lang na mga uh, na research ka, kasi kanya-kanya nga naman pananaw. Kung ano yung gustong mangyari, kung ano yung pananaw. Okay? So what are the importance of research in everyday life? Of course, to provide fast and comfortable land, sea, and air means of transportation. Yung mga transportation daw natin ngayon. Diba? Lahat ngayon. Sa mga sasakyan pandagat, sa mga panland, yung mga kotse natin, pa, pabilisan na, pahiteka na lahat. And even sa sea, diba? May mga luxury, ano na tayo, may mga cruise ship na tayo, mga ano na natin, diba? And then means of uh, yung air. Diba, may mga jumbo jet, mga kung ano-ano na mga lumalabas ngayon. Dahil yan sa innovative technologies natin ngayon. Dahil sa mga research na ginagawa natin. Of course, ano din, to satisfy, man, to satisfy man's craving for more understanding, to improve human judgment and power, to relieve human suffering, to increase satisfaction in countless ways. Diba? Marami talaga tayong gustong, ma- marami tayong, ang um, pinagkikraiban. Marami. Ang dami-dami. Gusto natin maintindihan kung anong dapat natin gawin. That's the reason why nowadays, di ba, ang telephone or ang phone namin or cellphone natin ngayon ay napakabilis mag-upgrade. Di ba? Kasi nga, ang mga tao, hindi tumitigil. Gusto nila lahat, laging uh, upgraded na lahat ang gamit. Kasi nga, pwede naman palang gawin na mas ma-improve pa yung mga gamit natin ngayon, di ba? And syempre, parang ano nila kasi matatalino nga sila, kayang-kaya nilang gawin nyo. And then, to relieve human suffering, yung mga example natin ngayon, yung ating mga gamot, di ba? Di ba, naka-invento na o nakapag-research na ng mga iba na mga research na mga gamot na po pwede nating gamitin na panggamot sa atin yung mga, sa mga cancer ngayon, di ba? Madami na yan. Ginawa din dahil yan sa research. And of course, to increase satisfaction in countless ways. Yung mga kung saan tayo masasatisfy, di ba? Okay. And the scope of research, of course, we have three. The areas of research, of course, respect, and meron yan, education, profession, and administration. In education, it provides scientific knowledge, oh, contributes to a particular field of study, syempre, promotes awareness, provides theory scientific basis, validates theories, concepts, and practices, documents socially relevant and efficient practices, Develop critical analytical thinking skills and assessing situations and decision making. Guys, sa pag, uh, pag uh, create ng research mo, yan, mag, mag, si research ka, marami kang matututunan yan. Of course, sabi nga kayo na provide scientific knowledge, syempre, mga kaalaman mo. And then, ma, matututunan mo, ano ba talaga ang ano ko para sa, kaya rin, ng IT ka, di ba? Doon mo talaga malalaman na yun talaga daw pala yung field of uh, 
study mo kung baga yun ang interest mo nandoon di ba malalaman mo eh pag nag-research ka malalaman mo kung ay ito pala gusto ko yung ganito the future gusto ko magkaroon din ako ng ganito and then promotes awareness di ba naging aware tayo provide theories and scientific basis syempre validate theories concept practices yan but it develop din yung critical analytical thinking ninyo syempre pagka naggagawa tayo ng research And of course, the profession naman is strengthens credibility of the profession, assure confidence in practice, improves practice through quality service de delivery, provides effective ways and practical solutions, and helps in sustaining progressive life, guides and predict outcomes of decision. Oh, di ba sa profession, kahit sa mga ano na, sa pagkana natin, kailangan din talaga, meron tayong ma-create na research. Of course, daw to strengthen daw the credibility of the profession. Kasama din yan. And of course, to assure confidence in practice. Di ba? And then, improves practice, sabi nga, kasama din. And, and provides effective ways in practical solution. Andiyan lahat sa profession. And of course, administration, it assures efficient and effective implementation of the system. Accounts for regulations and policies aim to expand program for accreditation increases productivity. Kasama din daw ang research. Kasi pagka, kunyari, uh, sa, sa, sa ibang eskwela, kailangan din naman sa mga administration, may mapapakita silang research para ma-improve Or uh, isa eskwela, for example, sa school nila, hindi naman tayo po pwede mag-stick lang sa, old, uh, sa manual ano natin. For example, sa manual system enrollment, enrollment system. Di ba nowadays, uh, pabunggahan na ngayon ang mga school at ngayon online na uh, enrollment na nangyayari. Spe especially dahil, kasi ngayon, uh, ano tayo, nasa pandemic tayo, we can't go to school para lang mag-enroll. Ano, mag di ba ngayon online na? Even yung payment, di ba? Ngayon online na lahat. Diba? Yan din kasama din daw yan para daw maano, and to expand program o para ma-accredit ma daw sila to increase productivity. Kasama yan sa administration. Of course, those are the three areas of research. Of course, we have education, profession, and administration. Characteristic of research, we have research begins with an answered problem or question. Oo, ang mga research naman kasi hindi naman yan basta-basta pwede mong gawin mo lang. Siyempre, you have to think of a problem or question. Gagawa tayo niya. Kaya nga meron tayong statement of the problem or problem objectives na tinatawag. And a research guided by specific problem or question. Sabi ko na, research inquires interpretation of data. Kailangan na natin ma-interpret lahat ng data na magagather natin, of course. Of course, research divides the major problems into sub-problems. And then, research follows a logical procedure and data collection. Oo, totoo yan. Meron tayong uh, dapat procedure na yan, paano tayo magpo-collect ng mga data. And research is a cycle. Kung nga, dire-diretso yan, umiikot lang as, ang research. And then, ito yung process of research. As I've said earlier, we have to determine the rec and recognize the problem. Kailangan daw malaman natin, ano ba ang problema? Bakit na mag-research na ganon? For example, You want to create uh, something. Ngayon, IT ka. IT, di ba? Gusto ko po mag-create ako ng uh, inventory system sa aking... Ngayon, uh, nagtatrabaho ka na sa company ko. Kasi, ang inventory kami, manual lang po ang gamit namin. So, you have to create a problem. Malaman mo. Hindi ko naman sa namin gagawa ka ng problema na ano hindi. Yung question mo lang, na po pwede mong uh, makagawa ka ng objectives yun. For example, Uh, ang problem na nakikita mo, kasi manual system nga, ang bagal ninyo. Ang bagal ninyo makapag-inventory. Siyempre, manual eh. So, yun na naging problem mo. Paano yung mapapadali ang pag-inventory? So, yun ang number one question mo. So, magbibigay ka na dyan ng kailangan ng sagot mo. Di ba, ano pa pwede mo? Magkikreate kayo ng inventory system. Yun ang magiging ano mo doon. Pwede isagot mo yun. Kaya gusto mong gumawa. Ah, recognize mo yung problem. And then for my hypothesis, um, when we're talking about hypothesis, this means yung ina-assume natin na mangyayari in the future para ma-research, uh, sa research mo, yan yung hypo, uh, assumption din yan na tinatawag, hypothesis. And then do the library research, uh, search, of course, kailangan kailangan natin mag-research sa library. Siyempre, maraming ano, mga information tayo makukuha sa library. And of course, kasama na rin dyan ang ating internet uh, search. Diba yung mga yan, mag-search tayo, mag-browse mag tayo. And then, of course, after that, you have to design the study daw. Uh, ano mo na kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mong maging study. And of course, develop the instruments for collecting data. Ano ba daw yung gagamitin mong mga instruments for collecting data. And of course, after you develop the instruments, you will collect the data na. Ano ba yung mga data na yun? Yun yung mga information na, na 
na nakalap mo o na-collect mo. Uh, when we're talking about instruments for collecting data, we're, we're just using uh, some method. And of course, you know, we have the uh, questionnaire sur survey form. Of course, we have the uh, observation. Yan yung paano tayo mag-collect ng data. Yan yung ginagamit natin. Okay? And once we, can, we collect the data, of course, we have to analyze the data. Pag na-analyze na daw yung data, determine the implications and conclusions from the findings. Siya mo na daw, malalaman mo na kung ano ba yung mangyayari sa, ano, sa magiging study mo. Makakatulong ka ba o mapapadali ba yung trabaho nyo pag nagkaroon ka ng, ng uh, what we call that, ng inventory system sa inyong company? Yun ba? Yun ang magiging ano dyan sa conclusion nyo. And then, making recommendation for further research. Of course, we have to make a recommendations before we end. Siyempre, ganun talaga. Kasi sabi ko nga, tayo born uh, curious tayo, mga Pilipino, na marami tayong gustong malaman. So, we have to make a recommendation for the future researcher. Yung mga mag-research din in the future, siyempre, madami pa naman kasi may improve or mauuso sa araw-araw o ma mangyayari. Marami tayong madidiscover sa mga araw-araw uh, natin. Kaya meron tayong recommendation. Mararanasan nyo rin yan. Of course, sa, sa susunod natin mga topic, andyan na yun, sunod-sunod na yan. Of course, mas maganda sana kung you can experience to make a research paper. Dami na akong pinagdaan ng research paper, guys. Uh, sa so maganda na matututog kayo dyan. Okay? So next, ito naman daw, ethics of research. Of course, huwag natin kalilimutan yung ethics natin sa research. We have to respect for persons. Individuals should be treated as autonomous agents. Siyempre, uh, may mga kanya-kanya tayong ano. So, yung individual na tao, huwag natin ano yun yan, pilitin natin kung ano. Kaya natin sila mag sa sarili nila. Kapag ayaw na magpa-interview, especially hindi naman sila related to your topic, o oh, wag na wag tayong mag-mamimilit o maharas natin sila. Of course, we have to maximize possible benefits and minimize possible harms. The investigator or the researcher should give forethought to the maximization of benefits and the reduction of risks that might occur from the research. O pagkano, huwag na tayo mag-ano pa, mamaya, delikado yung mga risks na mangyayari dyan sa paggagawa mo ng research na yan. Ayusin mo muna kung ano, yung mga mag ano ba ang magiging beneficyo nun. Kung uh, may, may beneficyo ba o magiging harm lang yon sa inyo. And of course, observe justice. Justice occurs when some benefit to which a person is entitled is denied without good reason or when some burden is imposed unduly. Of course, meron din tayo informed consent. Yan, sinabi ko na rin yan kanina. Kailangan may ano, ha? consent yung ano. Kailangan polite tayo mag-ask the permission from the research informants. Oh, misconduct in research. Oh, data collected must not be altered. Huwag natin daw papalitan. Manipulated and favored. Oh. Wag na wag natin papalitan kung ano yung nakita natin sa data, ha? kung ano yung sinagot nila, kung ano yung mga binigay nila. Baka dahil sa ayaw nyo na sagot nila, papalitan nyo. Huwag ganon. The searcher must be honest and accurate in recording the data gathered. Yung mga data natin kasi, importante yung importante yan. Kasi siya natin malalaman na kailangan-kailangan natin gumawa ng research. Of course, conflict ng Pinterest. Ito lang yung sinasabi na kailangan uh, hindi ka kasali dun sa ginagawa mo research. So, kung ano yan, it's generally recommended that the investigator should not participate as a research subject in, in his or her study. Yung gagawa ka ng study, ikaw din lang naman pala yung uh, ano dyan, yung subject. Oh, no, 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 no yun. Of course, authorship, mis misrepresentation of any form is wrong in scientific research. Authorship requires significant intellectual contribution. Okay, kung hindi nyo ginagawa yung kung wala naman ano, kung natin ah, mag-o-operate ng uh, uh, study, bawal yun. So, in case you have um, something na gustong-gusto nyo gawin, na alas ka pa rin yun, pwede naman kayong kumuha ng idea, but not necessarily mean na gayahin nyo yun at as in copy-paste, no? Uh, pwede nyo gawin, i-rephrase nyo, and then mag-isip kayo ng ibang uh, way na may iba yun sa inyo, hindi yun pa pwede yung copy-paste talaga kasi meron tayong batas dyan, yung plagiarism. Okay? So, yan yung mga ethics of research. Of course, we have two types of research. We have qualitative and quantitative method. Either or both can be utilized by researchers depending on the use. Thus, the quantitative method is used when clarity, reliability, and validity are sought. And qualitative method is used when richness, complexity, and data are not translated in numerical scale. Yung quantitative daw is used when clarity, 
Oh, the light na validity are sought and qualitative na decision. Which is, meaning to say yan, guys, yung quantitative, yung quantitative, we're talking about, we're looking for quantity or quantitative. Kasi yan, yan daw yung, ano, naghahanap tayo palagi dyan ng number. Ito yung quantitative, ito yung kanilang comparison. In quantitative and qualitative, comparison nilang dalawa ito, ah. Ito daw yung quantitative representative sample of big sample, yan, madami. And a small sample, nasa qualitative. At uh, yung quantitative naman, deals with numbers and statistics. Yung madami, may number din. And ito naman daw sa qualitative, deals with words and meaning. And data collected through instrument based on precisely defined variables. And it daw, sa so qualitative, emphasizes in organizing, coordinating, and synthesizing large quantities of data. Of course, may objective yan sa quantitative. And may relicable and reliable and subjective and personal. And of course, ito, deductive daw to. Ito naman, inductive. And as a test theories, develop, ito, nagtatest daw ng theories, ito naman daw, nagde-develop ng theories. And then, develop conclusion on, based on data outcome. Ito naman, develop values and judgment based on data process. Now, reliability, clarity, okay, saan na tayo? Clarity based on interpreting numerical data, complex and risk experiences, ayan. Void of most numerical data. Hindi daw yan about sa number. And then, non reliability and validity. Anong reliability and validity? Standard measuring devices. Ito, the, the non-standard measuring devices. Intervention, no participant involvement. Pero sa inqualitative daw, yung participant involvement. And then, adhere to scientific method. Ito naman does not follow any scientific method. And again, dito sa number 13, numerical data, ito naman daw, narrative data. Or to describe the complexity. And then, control laboratory setting. Ayan, conducted daw to natural setting. Pwede din daw tayo sa labas nito. Okay, qualitative, simply exploratory. Research is used to gain an understanding of underlying reasons. Oh, so, reason daw to, mga opinions. Provides motiv uh, motivation, it provides insight into the problem or helps to develop ideas or hypotheses. Ito daw yun sa qualitative. While in quantitative naman, it's used to quantify the problems na binibilang natin. O, meron tayong uh, certain numbers na pwede by way of generating numerical data or data that can be transformed into usable statics. It is used to quantify attitudes, opinions, behaviors, and other defined variables and generalize result from a larger sample population. An example lang ito, historical research now. It is designed to portray a complete and accurate description of historical events. Of course, marami tayong mga historical events na nangyari sa past, di ba? Kaya sample lang ito yun sa quantitative. And of course, descriptive research, it analyzes the trends that are developing as well as the current situations. Ito naman, usually, ito ang laging nagagamit. Descriptive. Kasi talo marami tayong hinahanap, di ba? Na-analyze natin sa mga ano. At saka nang de-develop tayo kasi kapag descriptive research. And then correlational research, it shows the relationship between two or more variables. Kapag we have two comparison between the, ano yan, kapag may comparison nito, itong correlational research. And of course, sa qualitative, ito, case study na ang example nito. It is an adept investigation. Ayan, investigation on one social unit or individual. Yan na, tinitingnan lang yung mga ano, tao. Hindi na tinitingnan yung number ng tao. Of course, individual experiences, the research is focused on exploring a personal or extraordinary experience of a person or group. Kasama din daw yung perspective taking, it focuses on how different people perceive an event behavior or activity. Meron ba tayong hinahanap dito na dami? Wala, di ba guys? Ito lang yung hinahanap lang natin dito yung sabang of their behaviors, di ba? And then, there are different types of qualitative research methods, including diary. Yeah, dyan tayo kukuha. Diary accounts, in-depth interviews. Pwede tayo mag-interview doon sa mga tao, di ba? Sa documents, di ba? And then, focus groups, case study, pa ikipag usap natin sa ibang tao, and ethnography. The results of qualitative methods provide a deep understanding of how people perceive their social realities and, in consequence, how they act within the social world. Yun daw yung qualitative. So thank you. Again, we have two types of research. We have qualitative and quantitative. Of course, we have when we're talking about quantitative, it is to quantify the problems. Now, uh, 
Okay? Ito naman daw yung exploratory research about sa number to. Quantity, ito naman yung quality. Okay? We have discussed, diba? Dito sa quantitative, ayan uh, yan, deals with numbers and statistics daw. Dito naman daw sa ano, sa words and meaning lang tayo. Okay? Yan ang lagi natin tatandaan. Okay? First, ethics of research. We have the process, of course. Discuss na rin natin. Characteristics and the area. 